Hi, you're watching Velo News TV. I'm Neil Rogers here at the start of the Tour de Georgia, uh, right before stage one in Tybee Island. I'm with Symmetrics rider Swain Tuff. Swain, uh, first things first, Symmetrics was not at the Tour of California. There was definitely a lot of people upset about that, I'm sure yourself included. Talk a little bit about what it means to the team to be here at the Tour de Georgia and what the team's objectives are. Uh, it's huge. We're really happy to be invited here, and uh, you know, as far as our season goes, this is a this is a big one for us. So, uh, you know, I, I really see it's going to be a very controlled race as far as the teams here. But uh, you know, we're going to be trying to uh, spice it up in all the breakaways as much as we can, and uh, I think we have a good team here. So, we're uh, we're quite motivated. You say it's going to be a controlled race. Who's going to be controlling the race? Ah, uh, the 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 big Kahuna's. I figure will be, uh, you know, Astana and whatnot. The probably be riding like they they're running the GC right from the start. I'd imagine, but uh, you never know. Things are pretty crazy. Last year, things happened that you never would have expected. So, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting with the uh, the team time trial and Brastown so late in the week. It is going to be kind of open, but you expect uh, Astana's going to be riding as if they have the jersey. We'll see. I mean, you never know until the first day happens. Uh, We'll, we'll really see after today and tomorrow, I figure, it'll, you'll start to see the shakedown. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the feeling within the Symmetrics team. We've been seeing some stories that uh, a little bit of trouble with sponsorship money and a little bit of uncertainty. How's that affecting the morale? I mean, sometimes you know, it could, it could be a, a, a negative or it could kind of cause people to really bond together and kind of rally. I think that's been the case for us. Like We're, we're a really tight-knit unit to start with. and. Uh, it's only kind of uh, made us realize how you know lucky we, we are to have a, a team like this, and our owner stepped up when a lot of guys would have just pulled out, you know. And uh, I've seen that happen on other teams. As soon as there's no money, it's it's done. And uh, our owner has done a huge thing in, in keeping our program going because he cares. He cares about us that much. So you know that that I think really helps keep the guys going and keep things uh, you know motivated for this race and and what we have coming up. Talk a little bit about the Symmetrics team at this race. I mean, besides yourself, Christian Myers here, talk, uh, Eric Wahlberg's here. Talk a little bit about a few of the guys and what we might see. Well, we got uh, Cam Evans is coming off a win of San Dimas, and he's obviously flying our Canadian new guy. national champion. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the guy's good, and uh, I'm expecting him to have a pretty good breakout of this race. But uh, we also have Francois Parisien, our new guy from coming over from Slipstream, and uh, He's just another guy, this you know, unknown quantity. He's just got so much horsepower. Good breakaway guy, so expect to see him out there. And then, you know, Wahlberg's always, he's just always good. And Christian, he can, uh, you know, when the form's there, he can climb with anyone and, and uh, have a good GC result too, so. Is he your guy for Brastown, Christian Meyer? Yeah, I think so, you know, just he's, uh, if you can get him fresh to the bottom of that climb, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll go up with the big boys for sure.